Learn and play online. Informal units of measurement. There are two ways that we can measure the length of objects. We can use formal units of measurement with the help of tools such as rulers and measuring tapes. Or we can use informal units of measurement, which could be things like paper clips or even building blocks. If we use items such as these to measure the length of objects, we call them informal units of measurement or non-standard units of measurement. This is because they are not the typical units we would normally use to measure the length of objects. When using informal or non-standard units to measure length, there are a few rules that we need to stick to so that we measure accurately. If we don't stick to the rules, we would end up getting different measurements every time and they would be inaccurate. Let's go through the rules by measuring this pencil with paper clips as an example. Sally and Pam measured the length of the same pencil, but they got different answers. Sally measured the pencil correctly. The pencil is six paper clips long. Pam measured the pencil incorrectly and said the pencil was seven paper clips long. Where did Pam go wrong? Pause the video and discuss it with someone. Pam would have measured correctly if she followed the first rule, which is that all informal units must be the same size. If Pam used paper clips that were all the same size, she would have measured the pencil correctly. Now let's take a look at Ben's work. He measured the pencil to be five paper clips long. Where did he go wrong? The second rule to making sure you measure correctly is to start at the very beginning of the object and stop at the end of it. Even though he measured it to the very end point of the pencil, Ben did not start at the very beginning of it, which is why he measured it incorrectly. Now let's look at Amy's work. She measured the pencil at four paper clips long. Where did she go wrong? Next time Amy tries, she needs to follow the third rule, which is not to leave any gaps between the informal units. The last person's work we will look at is Tom's. Tom measured the pencil at nine paper clips long. Where did he go wrong? Tom's work shows us another rule we must follow. We must line up the informal units in a straight line without overlapping them. Let's go through all the rules when measuring with informal units again. Number one, informal units must be the same size. Number two, measure from the very beginning to the very end of the object. Rule number three, do not leave gaps between the informal units. And rule number four, line up the informal units in a straight line with no overlapping. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.